hello everyone welcome back to my training and in this video i'm gonna show you how you can use the engagement scan process in post scheduler as well as how you can use facebook post and then you can save them using post scheduler only in the content library later on you can scan them easily by the software itself and can get immediate idea that which of the posts are getting more engagements and which are not and depending on that you can make your decision that what sort of content you should be also creating for your own profile or in your group so so that you can also get more engagement from your people check out the full video and let me know if you have any question at the comment section So let me first show you how you can save a content from Facebook that you are liking and you are seeing that the post is getting a lot of engagement. Okay. So after you logged into the system, go to the Facebook account of yours and wherever from you want to save the post, you just refresh the page on in there. So for an example, on my timeline itself, I want to save up content from here, right? So I can actually go in here and I can select any of these posts that i'm feeling like is having more engagement or have some value in it like for an example this post is actually having some content in there and you can see it is receiving eight comments and total 19 people have engaged with it so i can easily save this content and if i want to save the content with image and then i can also do that so let me show you for an example so this post has an image and that is having 12k reactions and 2274 comments 438 shares so let me save this content only using post schedule so once you have refreshed the page if you click on the three dots on the right hand side corner you will see post scheduler save post feature you can click on it it will ask you that in which content library you want to save this post so you can pick any of these uh, let me pick with the live testing only you can also add a tag if you already have a tag you can uh, actually add them with a tag and you can save the content once you will do that you will see a new pin tab is getting open on your browser which will now will do what it will get all this content that are there and then it will close the tab automatically for you now once that is done if you go back to your post scheduler under the content library you do remember where exactly you have saved and here you see that i have saved the content so i can see the view saved content where it actually have received the image and there was an icon like the emoji it didn't come properly but on this if i click it will take me to the actual post where from the content came okay and this view save post link will give you the view of the content that you have actually saved which you can actually easily see and then can decide that okay this is what the post was about and this is what exactly is saved by post scheduler so you can also will be able to see the engagement of these contents over here only in the view details page that is how you can actually save your content from facebook let me uh, go to a group and save something from a group so you see i am refreshing my page first which you should also do and then i can go and see that if there is any post which has a very good amount of reaction and comments and you can see i do have one where paul has sent some content in there and that is getting a good feedback so let me save this because then I can also use this content only for my profile and then I can also get good engagement. That's what I'm feeling like. So I have saved that and you see post scheduler have shown you a notification in there that it is saved and now this tab will get closed automatically and once that is done I can easily visit my to my scheduler page and then I can refresh my content library and you will see the content is already there the one which has saved right. And if I click on view save post, I will see the whole content that came from that post. And now I can use this same content only when I'm scheduling a post. So here, rather than selecting continue create new post, I'll select the specific content library. Once I'm doing that, it will show me that select the post from the save post. And there only the very first one or the second one or whichever one you feel like, you know, means you will be using, you can easily do that now here only we'll see the total number of reaction total comments and share values so seeing them also you can decide okay this was having the most engagement so let's create it with this one only. 
right so you can do something like that and if I actually select a specific date and time for tomorrow I'm selecting I can also select I have to select that uh, type so I'm selecting live testing using the tag as post scheduler and then um, if I'm going to the next page then you will see that the whole content actually is now coming over here in that editor automatically for me which is basically nothing but saved from the Facebook post itself right so you don't need to rewrite them anyways and even what you can do after getting this you can actually uh, copy this whole thing and you can generate even the same thing using AI where you will have your own system prompt for sure and then you can tell GPT that hey and if you generate the content exactly like this or similar to this because you know that this particular content was having a very good engagement from other group members or you know directly from someone else's profile right now you can send that data to chat gpt to get the content which now you can then schedule for your own profile or in your group and you can also get more engagement with your content it will take a while to generate the content from chat gpt sometimes i'm not waiting for this let me share uh, basically the process of engagement scan so this particular feature under these engagement settings where engagement settings turn on or off this particular feature was off earlier now we have enabled this and what you should do is once you will come in this page you will see it like this you have to turn this on and then you can select a content library specific library to fetch the engagement data or you can actually select all and that point of time whatever data that you have in this content library that you have earlier saved all those posts will be scanned and it will fetch all the data with respect to how many reactions are there how many comments are there and how many shares have been there for those saved posts so for this testing purpose only i'm giving live testing only in one library and also you can see that select scheduled post these are the posts that you have only scheduled using post scheduler right so you can select your own post also to scan from facebook to get to see that how many engagement you have i will show you how i'll get the scanned data of my own post but initially i'm showing you first with the content libraries and now i can set a date and time that when this can be done automatically or if i want to do it right now i can also do that that also i'll be showing you so here you can select a time frame and you can see it's daily 5 30 a.m which i'm making as um like for an example 5 30 p.m for me and i can update these settings so once done what will happen daily at 5 30 pm your local time post scheduler will go and all the safe contents that you have under this content library it will go in there and it will open one after another you know means post and then it will start in, uh, scanning the engagement data from there right you can also directly go to the content library you can pick any of your saved data and you can click on this button to get the scan information even quickly so like i clicked on it and it is saying that it is started and here you see a new tab has been opened with this post that is saved on my content library and now it is scanning the data from there so once done this tab will be automatically closed and once that is closed you will be able to see the values over here is now updated with the latest engagement values that are coming from facebook when you are creating a content and you are feeling like okay i'll create this content from my saved content earlier or whatever the post i have saved earlier or scheduled by me earlier and has the most engagement i will generate the similar content again so you can do that scan before you are scheduling a, a post and then now if i refresh the page you can see it has 20 reactions in it 87 comments in it and zero share well similar thing now you can see i have a lot of posts which have been scheduled by me only so now i am going to the settings page and i can enable this that okay select scheduled post even and select the post type that which one uh, selecting as my post type to get the scan data so here also i can select all I, all the items that i want to fetch all the scan information and basically engagement information and then I can actually set it with the time now very soon what you will also see in the very next version which will go live today or tomorrow is like 
we will see another icon over here under this action area itself where the similar feature that you saw over here that you can click on any of this icon and then it will start the scanning process so similar process will be there for your own post even so you don't have to wait for the 24 hours of gap to fetch all those scanned information for your own post but also very soon you'll be able to you'll be able to do that from this listing page to where you are seeing all of your own post own schedule post through post scheduler and now how will you see all those engagement data so to do that you need to click on this view icon and once you are doing that over here you will see those values like for an example just have scanned another post in the content library so if i go back in there and you see 112k of reactions 284 comments and 447 share counts are coming and if i click on this link it will take me to the actual post to see that okay is that the data exactly came uh, to scheduler or not and you see the exact data we are getting in scheduler right so similar data you will see once your scan is done for your own post if you click on this view icon that point of time that data will show up in here so if you have multiple places that you have posted like a multiple group or you know means with a profile so the card details will show like this and those engagement data will show up for individual of those cards now over here you will see that there are like this particular icon which will take you to that exact post link where your content is right and if that link is broken it will take you to the uh, post scheduler calendar page only if that link is not broken then obviously you'll be able to see the content and it will take you to that exact post only where your content is okay so this is how your settings you can use for engagement scanning and then from the content library how you can add any post into your content library as well as how you can scan your contents from the content library uh, you know page or from the settings page so i hope you liked it as well as you have seen that how i have actually used this saved content only when i'm creating a scheduled post right that is all folks and if you have any question you can ask me always in the comment section or you can always find me over facebook and let me know if you have any question at all thank you